All right. Well, it is 10 o'clock. We will call the meeting to order for this February 20th rescheduled meeting. I pledge allegiance, I pledge allegiance to, the to the flag of, of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Sorry, I didn't make sure you were going to do that. I was thinking about after I turn in Mickey's book. No, I would have told you. All right, roll call, please. Commissioner Stacy? Here. Commissioner Zoller? Commissioner Wagner? I'm here. Okay. We will sign the journal. And I'll accept a motion to approve the DVD recording of the previous board session from Tuesday, February 11th, and the index of that meeting. I move. And I will second. Um, in favor, say aye. 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 Okay. Approved. <clears throat> any adjustments to the agenda? I don't have any. I don't have any. Uh, the only thing I want to bring up um, was uh, Earl's networking he's got three buildings he wants to get some internet attached to those machines so just bring that up one okay. it could be old under old under old business and write down Earl <laughs> okay all right first thing under old business we've got uh bulleted here EMS the big group meeting what's what's our progress we um I spoke to Derek and um, was talking to him about the meeting. We had scheduled it uh, at the last board session, and after talking to Derek, he, he would rather be there, knowing all the questions that we were gonna be getting instead of, um, not that Rhonda couldn't handle it, but he said he would rather be there. Mm -hmm. So he asked if we could, because our the 5th would have been our backup date, if we can move the actual date to April 5th instead. And hopefully by April we won't need a backup date. Oh, right. Boy. But um, yeah. if it was I feel okay a lot more comfortable thinking they won't. Yes. <laughs> if we could move that meeting to the fifth and uh, public safety training rooms available for that day. So. Okay. okay. And this is for a, um, a countywide meeting where we want to have all the townships and villages and cities have at least a representative there um, to kind of go through a, a state of things with EMS. And then from there, Ken, what would you like to add? Anything? That's what um, the April 5th is. That, that, that is April 5th, and that's <coughs> what I've been letting the townships and villages know that I've been to since we started talking about that. Yeah. Um, only been to three, I think, since then. And uh, I'm making them aware of it, but we plan to send out an actual uh, formal invite RSVP type thing mm -hmm. on letterhead and make it look all cool and stuff. Okay. And hopefully they'll... Uh, Hopefully they'll participate, and I think they will. We've got some talk going. Yeah, We've got yeah. good conversations happening between the, the villages and townships. A lot of questions that I can't answer, and that's what we need, Derek, yeah. and um, people that have experience forming these sorts of things to come together. Who else should we have there for <coughs> experts on the issues? Is there anybody else you can think of? We gotta... Well, I spoke last night. Was at the, um, I might as well just go ahead into that. Yeah. Um, I spoke to the Bascom Joint Ambulance District Board, mm -hmm. um, except for one, Kevin Reinhardt wasn't wasn't present, but um, the other two members were there, and I let them know that I would really like it if they could come, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because they are the closest thing to experts that we have, because they did this back in 2001, okay. uh, formed a joint ambulance district. Um, and uh, Mr. Klaus, Jim Klaus, was at a recently at a conference, I think this past week, and picked up a bunch of stuff on the formation of a district. He said he's got a stack of papers like that, but he forgot to bring them last night, so I gotta catch up with him, which is, mm -hmm. won't be a problem. And we'll, I'll make copies of that stuff, and that could be good information okay. um, for us, as well as the April 5th yeah. gathering. Derek ought to have a peek at that ahead of and time. And I, I would make sure that I got it to Derek. And I know that the ORC defines it very well, but you have to be a lawyer to even read that mm -hmm. to make any sense of it. Um, <clears throat> so those would be the experts that I would okay. hope would come and share their wisdom. Okay. And they seem interested, and I yeah. know that uh, Karen O'Connor, who is the fiscal officer, um, the way they run that board, I mean, they, they obviously run it the way we run all boards, but just watching the detail of, of how they do it, and it, it's encouraging to me because of the, they show genuine interest in EMS, the success of their EMS, our EMS, mm -hmm. and they, they're they there for the specific purpose of making sure that it's successful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what I'd like 
for the rest of the con of the townships and villages to see is how they do that. Yeah. Because that, I don't know about the formation and all the legal stuff that goes with it. That's why we have Derek. But once we get it in place, I think it'll be a. It's not as much work as everybody thinks it is. It's just being interested in it and spending the time, to, taking the time to do it. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be well worth the effort. I believe that. And I think the any growing pains that mm -hmm. they've gone through, you know, we can we can learn from from their experiences, and I'm sure they'll be willing right. to and say. I, I think for 35 years we've just, went, oh, the county will take care of it. I think yeah. it's time for us to share that, share the glory, share the pain. <laughs> <laughs> And the more of these individual ones I go to, which I haven't been near as many as you, and, and <coughs> I've been to quite a few, the more I realize that the big meeting's the way to go because mm -hmm. everybody's got just a little twist on what they want to see and a little different idea, and we get them all together in one room and they can, yeah. we can hash it out. A and, and these advanced meetings, in a sense, since you're continuing those, and that started first, is mm -hmm. I think that's just really going to get them thinking to come to make that a really productive meeting. Mm -hmm. On the fifth, one I meeting think. feeds off another, it seems like. So that tells me they are actually communicating. Okay. Uh, some of the really, there's really good questions coming that yeah. uh, I just I don't know how to answer, but we're going to find out. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, you know, adding a township to a board, to a, to a district, already existing district, things like that. I, mm -hmm. I have no idea. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You know, so uh, we'll find out. Okay. And we'll good. make sure that on April 5th, we've got all the quote unquote experts in the room that can. Mm -hmm either answer them or at least know where to answer them. Right, right. Yeah. I, I'm encouraged. I, I feel good about it. Good. Yeah. Good. And I told them, we're, we're making something happen. You guys wanted to make something happen. We're going to make something happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We will. Okay. Yeah. Good. Thank All you. Right. Thanks. Mm -hmm. And we'll keep checking the calendars. Those are getting scheduled and making sure that one of us mm -hmm. is able to. Mm -hmm. I think the next one is Monday in Venice. And then the following one is Thursday. In Attica. I'm, Attica. Going, to, I'm going to Attica. Attica. Yeah. I think I'm going to Venice. You're so going to Venice. Venice. Some of them are challenging to find. So <laughs> it's, like a, it's like an Easter egg hunt now. We're trying to find these little township houses. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that is true. Okay. Anything else with that? Right. Okay. Thanks. All right. Norigo. This is the sewer. Yes. Mm -hmm. I got a request okay. from uh, Commissioner Zoller. Um, he was looking to put a public meeting together and getting some uh, representatives from the state to come in to see if we can't give the voice of New Regal uh, residents a chance to plead their case, I guess. Um, and so he's been working with uh, Mayor Bullion to set this up. He's got, uh, he emailed me the other day and said February 26th at 10 o'clock. Um, and he wants to do a conference call with some of them in Columbus, and he has some coming up. So I know you got some emails from him, too, keeping you updated on this. Um, I talked to Mayor this morning, and they don't have the technology for a conference call, so we're going to have to... Hmm. He said he would try to figure out on his end if he can do anything. I know, I think Fred was thinking our, our uh, conference phone, but because we have a system that runs the phones, it's... Oh, yeah, it's, these aren't very mobile in terms of other systems yeah no. so I don't know if that's what he was thinking and um, uh -huh. uh, so we'll, we'll we'll work through right. that but I did want to let you know that he's working on okay. this and he's gotten some responses so okay. do you have a technology um, comment there just since I work with Ohio RCAP I know they're meeting today with some of the representatives um, and at noon today so okay. you may want to have them get an update from okay. that meeting to okay. include. I talked to the, well, the mayor called me. I suppose he mm -hmm. called you too and personally yes. invited me. I said, now yeah. this is your meeting. You're going to have to advertise this. <laughs> so I, I don't want us to get caught in one of those oh, yeah, public Jim meeting. Jordan meeting things that we got chastised for. Even though we weren't the ones. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's so it is, it is their meeting. It will be at New Regal. But so you all know it is the 26th at 10, 10. o'clock. So be forewarned. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and I. And I think this is, you know, if we can lend any assistance and be the, what were the amplifiers or what to get to make sure that the people get heard and so forth. But like I said, this is a system that we have inherited or taken mm -hmm. over. Um, and so we do want to help them work through those issues. It's, I don't know how easy it's going to be, but I applaud Commissioner Zuller for 
trying to get the right parties in the room and present for that day. I will not, I will be gone. I will not be able to be there. Um, but I did tell him that in an email, so he knows. But uh, So we'll see if we get some answers. Okay. Get some relief for him. That would be nice. But I, like I said, I don't know what that possibility yeah. is. I don't know what what can be done, but we'll, we'll look. Yeah. We'll look. Don't know if we don't find, we don't try, so. All right. Um, Indigit console. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know that the changes that needed to be made on that resolution, I'm working on changing those as far as the wording goes, and then I'm going to send it back to the state just to make sure that nothing else changed so okay. that when we pass it, this is the last time we pass it. This was doing away with the commission? No, this was the one that after you guys raised the fees oh, for oh, okay, it, okay. Oh, and they had all those changes for okay. the wording because of legislation and all that kind of stuff. Okay. So I'll fix that and hopefully have it for Tuesday. Okay. 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 Thank you. Okay. okay. All right. And Earl with Palmer Energy was we were going to discuss that with. Connectivity stuff. Yep. He, of course. Uh, as he spoke the last time he was in here about uh, some of our buildings are not connected real good. He's working on some other network uh, solutions and ideas for getting the buildings connected so this system will, we can get the full benefit of the system he's putting in. Um, what he would like to do right now is put some three temporary lines, one at the CSB, one at the jail, and I think there was a third one. Um, to so he can monitor directly um, temporarily these would just be temporary lines but they are they will be they will be added to our um, it's like 80 bucks a month but they will be temporary until we get the other put in so um, I told him I would ask and that way he's because he, we're having some issues we're working through the bugs and we're working through the problems and if he has those networks put in some of the little things he could remote in and fix them from Toledo until we can get Mm -hmm. maintenance they're trained and um, so we know how to do those so think, that's what he's asking I think we probably better do it it's a small cost uh, yeah. if it'll help right I think you have to yeah the way he left it he was going to get the phone company was going to come mm -hmm. and make us a presentation yeah I thought that was like yep. this week um, we've had it scheduled for Tuesday um, he came in the other day to go over some of the preliminaries with me and there was a few buildings that because they weren't included in the energy project, mm -hmm. they didn't didn't catch them. The, the big one is the courthouse. Mm -hmm. it, it, that's more of a central hub for the network. It should be. Okay. And just because they weren't included in the energy because it was a newer building. So he's got to change some of the okay. Um, okay. Uh, designs. And there was a couple other buildings that he, he kind of left off. So okay. I think we're going to reschedule that. He was going to come in the 25th. I think we're going to reschedule that for the um, uh, next board session, mm -hmm. March 4th. I'm in no hurry. I just don't forget yep. about it. Yep. And and they really have a good program that could potentially save us a lot of money on our phones. Really? Wow. Yep. So. Okay. But I'm all for that. <laughs> yes. Yep. We like saving money. We like yep. saving money. Okay. 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 That's all I needed on that. Okay. Then so what we'll do? We're going to jump down and do the. Let's do the bid opening. Um, for the HSTS, which is Cindy, HSTS is the Home Sewage Treatment System. I knew if I tried it, I'd be wrong. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Excavating out of Bloomville, Ohio. Um, do you know the engineer's estimate? For or twelve thousand dollars. Twelve. Okay. Um, let's see. Base bid. They have on the property. Um, let's see. Ten thousand two hundred sixty-five dollars. He has a special note, and it says other required work to be completed. Uh, labor and seed. For an additional three thousand six hundred dollars, 
for a grand total of $15,165. This one is from A&D Excavating LLC out of New Regal. $12,975 is for um, Andy estimating, and those are the only two bids we got. And those are reviewed by Cindy I'll, I'll review them. The health department will clarify that the contractor is in good standing and that EPA will review all documents and give approval before contract can be let. So I will be back in touch. Okay. Thank those who bid. Even though the one is over, that's within the percentage allowable, isn't it? I would think so. Well, know. his base bid was under, so I don't know how they figure the additions are. I, I don't know how that breaks down. I, I'd have to look at that, um, but we'll, I'll look that over and, and talk it through with the health department, too. And it is a challenging property, <laughs> being that it's in the locust grove area. Oh, okay. Um, it is one of the homes in the floodplain, not the floodway, and it is a very nice home, so okay. uh, we want to make sure we get it so, um, with a, some kind of sewer mm -hmm. treatment, so yeah. um, we'll be looking at that. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Thanks. Thanks for being here, Cindy. Thank you. Thanks. Good. All right. We'll go back to the... going to do Jill. Oh, yeah. Jill, would, would you like to go now, too? I'll see. Sure. Well, five minutes past your schedule time, so then you, know, <laughs> you, you can say you're off new business then if you want. But. Um, first of all, I would like to take a minute to say thank you for the phone system in our building, um, even though we are still learning it. Um, it's working so far? <laughs> yeah, it's doing good for us. So, um, The next thing I wanted to just remind you all of, which you probably are all, already aware, is that Regional Planning Annual Meeting was originally scheduled for February 5th, but we canceled due to weather. Um, that is rescheduled for next Wednesday night um, at 6.30 over at um, Good Shepherd Home in Fostoria. So, and I know that y you said that you can't be there. <laughs> um, we'll miss you. <laughs> um, so uh, those notifications did go out to everyone, but just a reminder. Um, and then the real reason that I'm here is to talk about um, CDBG for this funding round for this coming summer. Um, last year, one of the things that the county decided to do was apply for the um, competitive funding, set aside funding that was rolled out kind of late last mm -hmm. year. Um, neighborhood revitalization grant was the one that um, was selected to apply for in Fostoria. And um, we were asking for $280,000. Um, I did go and meet with the state and I had a technical um, meeting with them um, to go over some things in the grant application. Um, one, one of the biggest issues for us is that it was a new thing that just started the planning process mm -hmm. so late in the game because of when the grant was rolled out. Right. Um, other funding, other people that were funded received the funding because they were previously grant, grants that were already in the works, mm -hmm. then the grant um, application that application went away for a couple of years then it came back so they just okay. brought those in um, so what I'm here today to ask of you is do you have an interest in um, going moving forward to do that same grant in Fostoria for this next funding round be and the reason that I'm here today asking for it is because there is some additional stuff that we need to do to plan for it uh -huh. and have it done prior to the grant application deadline in June uh -huh. 
Um, we have to have some additional public meetings, um, possibly do some surveys and things like that. All of that is going to take a little more time. So if this is something you want to look at doing, I would like to get moving on that additional stuff that we need to get done and nail down some more specific um, goals and guidelines in that grant application. So, um, and then just to mention also something to consider if you do want to move forward on this grant again this year is that the amount of leverage that was committed, um, ideally the state would like to see between 15 and 20 percent committed from the block grant allocation program, which is your main CDBG, the money that you're allocated. Mm -hmm. Last year it was 114000 um, haven't received the notification this year yet, um, so I don't know what this next year, this year is going to bring, but 15 to 20 percent is what the state likes to see for that leverage towards those competitive grants. So what does that amount to on 280000 If you're looking at 20 percent, if we go, if it is 280000 again, it's about 22800 um, 15 percent would be around seventeen one. And I, I kind of, I remember applying for this, but I don't remember what, what was the project we were shooting for. Here. There were three different um, areas that we were targeting to do. There were um, three activities in that grant, mm -hmm. one being sidewalk improvements, one street improvements, and the third one was demolition. Um, we are using some Moving Ohio Forward money to de do demolition over in Fostoria. There's still quite a few that need done, um, from what I understand. Mm -hmm. But um, I haven't, I've spoken briefly with Dan Thornton um, about this possible uh -huh. project, but told him that it was up to the commissioners uh -huh. um, and that I was coming here today to talk to you more in detail to see if they still have those same dollar figures to do in those areas. Uh -huh. um, so I'll get more information from him once I find out where you stand. So, so the 15 to 20 percent comes out of the rest of our block grant program monies? Typically that's where the state likes to see it come okay. from is you're allocated that money from block grant is to apply from that to the competitive grant. Okay. So you'll, you know, say in your application you're going to leverage X amount of dollars from block grant to that competitive funding. And then the city of Fostoria May, which last year they committed funds also. so. Um, they may commit again um, some money, so that'll be additional additional leverage. We might be able to use some leverage with the Moving Ohio Forward demolitions that we did if we do a demo program again over there. So, um, yeah, I think we should. Like you said, it's part of the process is kind of going through it. And yes, kind of like you've got to try more than once to yep. get. The, and that effort's been put forth. I think we'd be, you know, be losing ground to not yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. try again. I agree. I think we ought to go for it, assuming the city yes. wants it. I, I, yeah. I'm sure they yeah. do. Assuming I believe changed. they do. But if they say no, we don't want it, then we back out. Yep. But I'm, I'm sure yeah. they do. Mm -hmm. What was the name of the grant again? Was the <coughs> that was the Neighborhood Revitalization or NRG grant, um, the competitive set aside. Yeah, I'm all for it. So you don't need anything formal from us. That's good. No, to know I just wanted to talk to you about it to just put that out there and see where mm -hmm. you stand, mm -hmm. so that we can mm -hmm. start moving on some of the public meetings and such. Uh -huh. So, uh -huh. okay. And then I am scheduled for m March 4th to come and do the public hearing. Okay. Um, so that should be coming out in the newspaper in um, the next day or two. Okay. okay. Uh, so. Good. So we'll do a set time and date for that. Um, Tuesday. That would be the first public hearing, all right. all right? Will we know our amount by then? I don't think so. Typically, we don't know it. Um, it could come next week, but I'm not sure. And normally, I do the first public hearing in February okay. um, because I wanted to come and talk to you about this first. Mm -hmm. I wanted to do this and then the public hearing, so um, it's possible. And if we know it, I'll bring it. Okay. Um, but mm -hmm. as of right now, I'm advertising <coughs> for approximately the amount you received last year so okay. so we will then have those projects for the other part of the block grant program then come what um, we, we rate those we, last year normally what we is do is once we do the first public hearing then we put out the pre-applications and okay. send them out to all the villages townships and everybody um, so that they can apply for okay. the funding for whatever their okay. situation is 
The other competitive set aside from last year was critical infrastructure. <laughs> And that was in the village of New Regal is what the county wanted to apply for. Mm -hmm. The village of New Regal did get some money to do their street paving that mm -hmm. they were looking at, so that won't <coughs> be a possibility. Plus their LMI percentage was a little um, out of whack. It wasn't within line where the state likes to see it really. Okay. Um, so if there is anything else in the county that would be a critical infrastructure project, the county can again, and I'll talk more about this on the fourth, apply for that money for critical infrastructure typically if there's any bridge improvements that need done and it'll be up to three hundred thousand dollars again this year so um, I have not heard of anything I will talk to Mark Zimmerman to see okay. what he knows and then um, maybe at our meeting annual meeting for regional planning next week I can talk some more to some of the townships and villages there about it as well for the county so and that's not new and that's not for a new project that would be for improving the, existing infrastructure. I believe I'm it could be. I'm thinking just, Loop Road. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, I mean, yeah. I um, that's I as long know. as it's out in the county. Um, but the county <laughs> LMI, <laughs> the, the LMI needs to be within the right range to be able to do that. And I have a being Pretty confident that feeling too. that yeah. you're going to be out of whack on that, yeah. on the LMI person. Yeah. So to use the critical infrastructure, I don't know that that would be possible for that. Um, but I will keep my eyes and ears open. Yeah. So. Okay. okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm. well, back over to the uh, on my agenda to the new business. Start with the uh, bill vouchers. Sure. I have bill vouchers 13 through 17. I have a supplement to the permit appropriations for the concealed handgun license fund 047, putting $1,000 into supplies. I have an appropriation adjustment within the maintenance and repair fund 020, moving 15000 from their contract projects to their reinforced deal account. I have a supplement to the permit appropriations within the Energy Improvement Construction Fund, 225, 2014, putting 150000 into contract service. This is just canceling the um, purchase orders and everything from last year and reappropriating it so we can get the bills paid. Which one was that? That's the energy, that's okay. uh, Earl's okay. Okay. project. Um, a resolution setting time, date, and place to receive sealed bids for the one 234-foot wheelbase passenger van foot. Excuse me, 234-inch wheelbase passenger <laughs> really? van. That's a big <laughs> van. <laughs> I knew that didn't sound right. Wheelbase passenger van for the Seneca County Opportunity Center. It is set for uh, Tuesday, March 18th at 10.30 a.m. here in our office. A resolution appointing Heidi Steffi to the Allen Irie Advisory Committee as the designee for the Seneca County Board of Commissioners. A resolution entering into a memorandum of understanding between the Seneca County Soil and Water Conservation District and the Seneca County Board of Commissioners for the administration of the Seneca County Ditch Maintenance Program. Uh, authorizing Holly Stacy as board president to sign the memorandum and all other related documents. I have a resolution entering to a contract with WSOS Community Action Commission for the administration and implementation of the Community Housing Improvement Program, authorizing Holly Stacy as president of the board to sign this and all other related documents. Um, I have resolution accepting the policy manual as presented for WSOS when, um, what was the young lady's name that was in? Tiffany Schaefer. Tiffany. <coughs> I have a resolution accepting the amendment number three to the Patchwork House Access Visitation Grant on behalf, on behalf of Job and Family Services. I have a resolution authorizing an agreement contract with Correctional Healthcare Companies, Inc. on behalf of the Seneca County Sheriff's Office. 
I have a resolution authorizing the Seneca County Board of Commissioners to enter into an agreement with the Seneca County Health District for 2014 nursing services on behalf of the Seneca County Youth Center. And that's all I have. I move we approve the resolutions. I will second that. Roll call, please. Commissioner Wagner? Yes. Commissioner Zoller? Commissioner Stacy? Yes. All approved. All right. I'm going to do um, citizen comments. Anybody have comments for us? No? Okay. All right. So then any other business anyone's aware of we need to announcements Just, otherwise? Nope. Executive. Are we having an executive? Oh yes, we're going to have an executive session before we adjourn. No action will be taken after that executive session. So I need a motion to go into executive session. Is this for personnel? personnel. Oh, personnel. I'm sorry. Okay. You're right. Uh, State for personnel. Yes. I, I make that motion. I will second that motion. Can you will call in. Commissioner Wagner? Yes. Commissioner Zoller? Commissioner Stacy. Yes. It's 1031. And we will go into executive sessions. Okay.